Hi, we're on Spoken Concept. Concept. And we're watching Nobody Grinds Network. Mom, so I'm gonna start with you. You got me wet. Doing their thing, so when I saw them coming together doing this, I'm like, oh, I got, I gotta sit down with them, and chop it up like a chef. <laughs> so, um, you know, first of all, y'all got together. Wow, we're happy to get together. Yeah. Um, yeah. you want to start? <laughs> well, I mean, purely it came from just really, uh, like, like Kella said, like you know, music has always been my thing, um, from uh, gosh, as far as I can remember, and mm -hmm. so music is my thing. I work with music every day being that I'm a dance choreographer and I've always had the love for singing, always loved to sing, but as a child coming up, my parents were both in bands and my mom's a lead singer and my father is a lead guitarist and my stepfather is even a bass guitarist. So yeah, it's like, it was always there. And then um, I think what really, what really sparked that was the mere fact that we actually fell in love with karaoke. Yeah. We always like <laughs> sing every song everywhere and like did as much as we could. Shouts out to St. Clair, <laughs> music maker. Um, <laughs> we nice just, plug. Yeah, I know, I know her. She good people. I know her good people. <laughs> yeah. um, That's um, what, Nita Stroman's mom? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Good people, I know. Um, but we always loved it. People were always like, you guys sound really, really good. You know, us being the modest type, well, we are all right. And then, and then, and then, and then, Scoop comes to me and she's like, "Well, you know, I used to make beats back in the day." So I'm like, "What? Why did you get out of it?" <laughs> and I know that she always she rapped and stuff, and she's a good rapper. She used to flow for me and stuff. And I'm like, "Well, why aren't you doing anything with this?" And she's like, "I'm, I don't, I'm not, I'm not like that anymore." <laughs> oh, so of course, me being the crazy woman that I am, I had to go and like totally like go home and like think about it and then leave. When the guitar center bought a whole beat, like, um, what is it, Ableton, Ableton Live? Because yeah. <laughs> the 40 Loops they had wasn't, I wanted to have something more updated. And 40 Loops, um, I've heard some of the stuff from the product. I'm not really a fan of 40 Loops, but at the same time, like, I've heard some awesome things being done off of it. But um, I went and I got I got that for her birthday, uh, was about a year, two years ago. Yeah. But she started making stuff, and I'm like, that's pretty dope, you know? And then after that, it was kind of like, what? let's just go ahead and do this thing because we have a lot of um like artists that we love and you know often finding ourselves listening to the radio and turning it off and going to internet <laughs> radio to that nowadays. um yeah. it, it's just so, so commercial, saturated down watered down so fake yeah. and don't get me wrong there are some great artists that are out there right yeah. now and that's being independent you know who are we to talk but at the same time <laughs> like if the, the love and the art and the creativity is no longer there Okay. You like you can't tell no one from the next person. So, okay. so that's why the name came up with a spoken concept. So the name. <laughs> well, um, I'm glad you got one. That was some of your idea too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the unspoken concept name really came from we we don't want to be placed into a box because a lot of people now ask us, well, you know, what type of music do you do? And we really and we don't have that. an answer <laughs> because. You know, if you listen to anything that we place out, that you've got hip hop, you've got jazz, you've got funk, you know, and, and all that. So um, there is no concept to what we're doing besides it being a love for music. Okay. So, you know, that's that's really where the name come, came from. Okay. Um, so also, I guess we would call it ex experimental. Yeah, and then with Unspoken too, like touching on subjects people normally don't talk about. You know, like bringing out, you know, what's going on in the world. Things need to be addressed. Things people think are cool that aren't necessarily the right thing to do. <laughs> people don't speak of the negative parts when it comes to when it comes to the part when it comes to things that are cool. The actual consequences for the things that are cool can get you, and which can really happen to you if you go through this way. You know, and we try to focus on the positive with things that are good for you and for your soul and for the body and for music and for people as a generation. I mean, I think that yeah. music has lost um, a lot of um, the positive aspect. I mean, probably some, some people out there that actually still 
do positive stuff like you have, you know, common sense. You know, he still has a lot of positive quality. likes. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot Tyler of positive quality, quality, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Gene 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 Osco talks about real stuff. Yeah. You know, because J Vibe. J Vibe. Yeah. 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 I mean, J Vibe was some real, yeah. You know, colors. Colors. You're real dog. It's not about me. But unspoken concept basically is. Um, you, it's I spoke of. It's like you can't describe it. You can't. You just, okay, I got you. So you basically, see. I got you. So you, it's, you know, what I'm saying y'all like, yeah, I like that. It's mute, mute to, mute to the norm. And that's no why the icon, just, just the, the, the logo. I love it. With the, with the, I like with that. The you came with that, you that logo? Yeah, I made right. a logo. I think it was off a of chain. It was like Jamie Foxx movie, boy. Django. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your mouth over. That's what's up, though. So yeah, you did that. You started getting out there. Um, you know, y'all blessed me to meet the demise, y'all. Oh, y'all had the house rocking like grandma on a chair, boy. Uh, we tried. We had was, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, I had fun with y'all. Yeah, that was, that was out cool. There. That was y'all. We all, well, I guess y'all kind of summed it up. But y'all, what are y'all trying to bring to the game that, you know, I guess kind of summed it up earlier a little something bit? Something new. You know, something fresh, something everybody can relate to. Um, okay. Definitely a new sound. Um, and just... <laughs> broadening horizons across the board and being in South Carolina, you know, we're already kind of like down, down <laughs> to the bottom. And then on top of that, down to the bottom of the mat, not only that being the mere fact that, you know, we have so much talent here, but we don't know how to expand our horizons as far as going out and seeing different stuff. Maybe go to a jazz bar and listen to a jazz band or even go to, you know, hear a country group or even a bluegrass group. It's just, I feel like if you're going to be a musician and an artist, you have to really listen to everything because you never know exactly what you might come out might come out of it heck you have nelly went off and he did the country song you know what i'm saying again. but you know with us being on the more neo neo soul slash experimental jazz hip-hop it's like you know and we we just really want to just get something fresh and something new something people can um, look forward to Okay. And that are always looking. It's fresh. Cause it's yeah. Because at first I thought it was going to be like the poetry thing, but y'all flipped me out when y'all did that, that take me on single. Y'all <laughs> took me gone, boy. Well, the pop, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Then. Y'all crossed over. It was like an Iverson back to song on the track. I was like, what? And that's exactly what we want to do. We didn't want to come out as another, you know, female group um, that, you know, the hip hop. R&B or the hip hop crafting. We wanted to change it up. So well, she sings too. She sings beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if I'll take you. Yeah. Take you home. I mean, I can't rap. I mean, I can try to rap. I can. I can. I can write a rhyme. And, <laughs> you try. You, know? you ain't really you was lead. Yeah. You can touch that. Yeah. One. I got you. I can. I can uh, talk you, something. You, but you I still doing dance? Then you still bring the rage dance element to it, or oh more? yeah. Okay. Um, actually, if you guys ever view "Take Me Home" on YouTube, um, a spoken concept on YouTube. Um, all the three, all the E's are threes. Um, Take You Home, we just released that, uh, that video about a month, uh, about a, about three weeks ago. They got like a thousand views. And we already have yeah. our, it's crazy how people want to see what you're doing. And we, they're nosy, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's good, that's what you Yo, I want them to know who we are. But, <laughs> but at the same time, like, we, were, we started out our YouTube page being like 53, 54 views. I put Take You Home, uploaded it on there, um. That Monday, by that next morning, our views were already up by 500. And by the end of the week, we've had over 900 views on our actual YouTube page. Oh, okay. And we hadn't gotten any kind of feedback. And then we released that uh, the demo for the line dance, the Wet Bernie. And we released the tutorial for that. And then that blew up. That's got the second most views. And it's just like, whoa, this is what we have to do. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But to answer your question with the whole dance thing, like, if you guys seen the video or whatever, um, I did the choreography for the video. Um, choreographed it and danced in it, too. Um, I actually, actually directed the whole video, too. Um, very proud of it. And I've always wanted to do that and get into that, but never really had the right people behind me. So it's like, hey, well, guess what? You can't beat them, join them. <laughs> you know, had many artists that I've worked for that kind of were in it and positive and strong. Yeah, more range, just talking about the range. Yeah, it goes to, a, yeah, it goes to a halt, and it's like, well, you guys gotta keep going. You can't just stop. So it's like, well, dang, I've always wanted to sing. Let's go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. So then, and I can add my choreography in it, and then I have my great my dancers. Um, shouts out to Groove Mint Dance Company and Groove Mint is my baby. Shout out to Yavez. Uh, yes, Yavez Fuller, our, 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 our videographer. For uh, well, take you home? Yeah, okay. yeah, for Take You Home and more to come. He's out in school right now. Okay. Oh, he's out in school right now. We should let the dress rock. Yeah, we're trying to keep it like, you know, a little different. Yeah, you know, that's what it is, okay. But he's actually out in... Santa 
Seventh in Mexico right Mexico. now. Okay. Since he just went to college for videography. Saint Clair. No, yeah. I don't know. Somewhere. 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 Somewhere beings and very humbled and very God-fearing, you know, ladies. And um, I solely, like, um, I look at everything and I, I use everything as far as, uh, you know, messages from God and, and connection and positivity to get where I need to be. And everything that's happened since since last year, mm -hmm. uh, July, which put us, like, what, six, six to seven months ago <laughs> to now... And just starting it out, then um, it's kind of been like all in his order, all in a line. So I found you means a lot more. Like I found you means I found music. It means from the from there to us finding each other, you know, and being very close and being the best of friends as well as you know relationship. Aww. And then, <laughs> and then like this is my dog, yo. This is my heart right here. No, but um, even our dancers, our friends, like groovement. Um, a lot of my friends that are in group man, dancers, um, they actually, we met them about roughly about a year and a half ago too. And we oh. just all clicked so well. All of them sing back up. All of them dance. All of them are very creative and very fashionable, okay. very um, charismatic. And it just, it just worked. And then now coming into the band, we are now a band. And Full Concept is a band. We have um, a keyboardist, um, um, Daddy Astingo, and um, a drummer that we've worked with as well. Um, was this uh Quan? But but um at the same time like we are transforming and everything that's lining up, we just found each other. And the way we found the band is Craigslist. We just put out a post. <laughs> yeah, no. I know, I'm looking for a we put out a post in the, the next day. Is it called Google Craigslist? Is there a fee? No. no, it's free. We just gotta go to the site and just put it type in what you want mm -hmm. and then just what right. send it okay. So, put out your information and yeah. somebody will contact you. Okay. But in essence, I found Jimmy's all that. Us finding the fans. Us okay, the I got you. Finding, friends, bring everything in one, one thing. Finding one concept. And even, you know, as far as with me, you know, and finding yourself. Because, um, like I said, music has always been a part of me. Yeah, my, yeah. my father's a musician, you know, in that whole side of family's musical. However, um, I had gotten to a point where I'm like, you know. I know. And I'm like, come on, I'm come, come back. Come this. back. Come back. You know, I used to call you like, what you mean? Come back. Nine to five. Come back. You know, that dream is over. However, when you come home and you got a full-out studio waiting for you, it's like <laughs> there's nothing left for you to do but do it. So I have then, you know, refound, if even that's a word, but I've found again okay. the love and the um, the want to make this what it what it really should be for me. I got you. Yeah. That's good. So you got anybody that's featured on the album or it's going to be too much... Y'all, y'all, and, and just well, us, and then the band. Well, a spoken concept band, and then like, um, we want we, we have a few features. Like we're trying to get one of um, one of like I said, Groovement. They're very uh, they're very talented. All of them sing. All of them, you know, do a little bit of writing. And like mm -hmm. Carlos, um, he Carlos Ortiz, Los Ortiz, shout out to him. Um, he's also um a good friend of mine, dancer friend, awesome chore awesome choreographer. Um, and great singer too. So we're mm -hmm. probably going to be featuring him on the album with this okay. really cool pop song. Um, you can what a lot of features. I don't know half of you it. You don't know I'm half of you. You're, you're um, vibe talking vibe. You are, you, are, you know what I'm saying? Y'all um, haven't reached out. Haven't got a chance to talk to vibe yet. We're, like I said, we're still in the process of still trying. De Niro, to you're guys right. You, you talk to De Niro. De Niro. Well, I haven't talked to De Niro. It's been <laughs> such a long time. So De Niro, if you're watching, you need to hit me up. <laughs> But uh, there we go. Okay, I, I, like that's like dang. Like I'm just like you know I'm, I'm taking it like a fan point of view. I love I'm love what y'all got going on. It's like continued success with everything. And then like you know I don't know you know if, if this is known, but everything is done by us. Everything. Everything. From, is I make the you know beats, and she does engineering. Yeah, I both uh, write together. Both, we both write both together. Write. I might write a song. She writes all her raps, or she might write all her. Uh, Chorus, we might write a chorus together. It's okay. everything so is thing here. Is besides the video, everything is out of our home. Okay. So everything is right. out of so our home. The website, the logos. So y'all is a two, two, two woman team. 
Yeah. Sense, but y'all have outside people helping on certain things, but for the basis, the music, the graphics is y'all. Like, yeah, like so y'all a manager or yeah, it's just okay, us. so it's a lot. We're, we're looking for a manager that's willing to, you know, we're still looking, but we quite haven't found the right person that has the right energy that's kind yeah, of Yeah, you gotta always have that right connect. Um, we do have a great business um guru out of Atlanta, my best friend and my love my brother, I love him dearly, uh, Maurice Ravenna. He's out of Atlanta and he's business guru when I tell you like dude's having ma- he's a master's in business great business aspects like a lot of times we can converse back and forth with him on some things and get things done and get some shows out of state okay. um a lot of our fan base which I know probably a lot of people in the same demographic when it comes to the style of music we do is out of the UK Canada okay. um Japan like a lot yeah, of it's overseas, overseas stuff is really taken yeah taken they really to... appreciate real okay. music you know and you know I just think right now the era we're in you know the right. U.S. is really really big right now on um, and I love it too, electro dubstep, and I love it too. I love it. And then uh, like the hip hop side of it, they're really a uh, little hung up on the whole trap thing, and that's not really my cup of tea. I mean, I listen to certain songs, you know. I, like, I love trap music. But, you know me, I'm a much, I'm a much more, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna say conservative, but I don't know. I just, like I said, I guess I just don't understand it. I, I'm not about that life. I guess okay. I just, that's not me. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and perpetrate a fraud. I'm not, I'm not like that. But at the same time, like I can, I can put on the radio and listen to a, um, uh, listen to a Joe Scott song and I'm happy, or uh, Anthony Hamilton song and I'm good, you I know. You. Like, but they're not even touring as much as they usually tour in the U.S. There are a lot of them overseas too, yeah, you. you know. But um, yeah, like a lot of our fan base inside of that area, and um, we just really want to put together um, with along with him a, a European tour. So that's the next thing. So as the album drops, promoting the album and hopefully by the next year. When is the album dropping? In the summer. Okay, summer. y'all. Okay, all right, y'all. Y'all ain't got the exact date yet. Y'all still working out the kinks. Right. Yeah, I'm about to say we're still getting the band. Okay. The sound right. together. So definitely, it ain't one of the things. Uh, say it's coming, then next year it never came. Y'all actually, it's coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's coming this summer. We have, we have like over like twelve songs written. In, okay. Right. I mean, all over right. twelve songs That's written, and so, then like it's a lot. <laughs> but, so somebody want to book y'all for a show, or you know, book y'all for features? Like, how did they get a hold of y'all? Um. All you have to do is go, you can, we have several um, social network um, sites you can go to. Um, we have um, unspokenconcept.com, yeah, and all the E's in Unspoken Concept <laughs> or threes. threes. If you put an E in, you may, we may pop up, but it probably won't. Um, we're very Google friendly, like if you put in our name, it'll pop up our, our videos and all of our, um, our pictures and links to our SoundCloud. We're on SoundCloud, we're on Twitter, just put in Unspoken Concept. Are y'all charging for features or shows right now, or where y'all at with that? Somebody, you know, somebody want to book you. You got, they got. Right now we're just trying to get out there. Oh, so like, y'all exposure, okay. Right. Exposure. Uh, that's good. So they still ain't know, so they won't know. Like you know, they're like man, you didn't see that interview. So that's why I asked that. Yeah. You know, so. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> monetary donations. Are yeah, expensive. of course. You know, <laughs> we're carving. Yeah, of course. Y'all, 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 I got you. I got you. Yeah. Definitely. And this is what helps when you do it all yourself. You don't have to worry about having to get everybody to help you with everything. And yeah, then, that's, that's or having to worry or wait on people to help you with stuff. Because, you, you know, go. you won't let yourself down. <laughs> that that true, true statement right there. <laughs> true statement, definitely. So anything you want to leave for those to watch viewers with before we, you know, wrap up? Um, go check out Take You Home on YouTube. I've spoken concept. Um, and also look out for the new single. I mean, also check out the new single, Swing My Way, which is all scoop. You know, it's all rapping, a little bit of chorus vocals, you know what I'm saying? It's hot. She produced the whole thing, and it's all her. I'm really happy about that track. It's a real nice meaning behind it. It's a real feel-good song. You play in the car with the top, back, and ride. You know, good summer song, so check that out. Um, also, um, listen, listen, um, wait out, wait out. She can't talk today. I'm excited. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you. I'm sorry, man. Rap is um, what is it? Uh, look out for the band too, and the new products coming out, um, and the album this summer. Really? Okay. Well, so subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on YouTube. Um, like us on Facebook. Twitter. Twitter like us on Facebook. On Reverb Nation. Um, number share this video. <laughs> number yeah, one. Share this video. Share this video. Share share this video. Watch. <laughs> goes to the Body Cross Network. We're also <laughs> on number one music um, dot com as well, and also we're also on MTV dot com artists, MTV artists dot com as well. So check us out on there. Our songs are on there. You can check us out. Um, um, like us on there as well. But yeah, we're here for you. Feedback. Email us. Let's know what you want to hear. Let's know what you want to what you feel and. Um, if you if you have any questions or might have an idea for a song as far as a theme to go by, like if you what tell us what you want. We want to please our fans, and we don't know. We know what we want, but we want to really please you because I know, like I said, 
we have music that are, that's out there that we don't even want to listen to sometimes. We turn the cha channel, so. Okay. But, um, hit us up. You, anything? <laughs> you, you didn't cover everything? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm, so, I'm a talker. Yeah. I know the people, I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I'm excited. This is awesome. Um, that's cool. Just, you know, really, you know, a thing that we kind of stand by is, you know, just really making sure that you take ownership for what you put out in this world. Yes. So, you know, you know, by we creating the world we live in, that's what we do. So we that's try right. to make sure okay. that whatever it is, whether it's a interview or if it's a performance or if it's just a, a conversation, that we make sure that we leave a positive and a, a, an environment that's conducive to growth. Um, so, you know, one of, and we didn't really get a chance to speak on this, but I really wanted to say um, thank you to Mr. Chuck at Hugie's because he's yes. been Big a great help. backbone um, in trying to help us to promote and really get ourselves out there. He's, you know, really us, believe in us. Right. So he's opened up several, that one several different opportunities for us to perform and for us to get seen. So I just wanted to say thank you to him. And, um, to you know our inspirations the internet when bun and and also uh the satisfaction that you know they inspire us outside of you know just our general love for music they inspire us to w want to and push and believe that we can do it because do it too. you know and a lot of the stories are similar on how they got started too right, so, so it's like and i guess people like a lot of times you forget that sometimes it can be about where you're at and where you're from, but it's about what you put into it, too, and how much you believe in yourself. Oh. And that's very important. True. It is. Because if you use demographic or you use geography as a, as a hold down, you never get anywhere. you got to be positive. you got to okay. believe in yourself and nobody else going to believe you. That's what so. it is. So that's it. All right, well, you know what I'm saying? This is Colors, <laughs> the network man. Colors. And nobody grinds like us. Shit. Hey, we're a spoken concept, concept and, and nobody, nobody grinds like us. us. Shit. <laughs>